<laughs> that uh, a bunch of people asked. Have we played with 360 degree panoramic cameras? And um, when are you guys gonna see something we've made with one? Uh, a little bit, but not much. Um, here's the problem I have with, with 360 is I'm, I like to choreograph a very particular experience for people. Um, it's a little bit like writing music. Like you choose which, you don't just give everybody all the notes, you choose which notes to give people and in what order and that makes a set of emotions and, that, and a full experience. Um, my problem when I watch most 360 stuff is that I get this like, I get this anxiety that I'm missing whatever I'm not looking at, that I'm looking over here but something exciting is going on over there. I think that that can be overcome if somebody makes something that sort of works in all directions in, or, or where the act of finding what you're supposed to be watching is actually not anxiety inducing, but, but, but fun and, and like a, a, a fun game to play. Um, but it's a pretty different process from the way we have made music videos so far. So while I have thought about it some, um, w there's nothing in the works. We, we actually were going to um, shoot a 360 version of Upside Down and Inside Out, um, but it got really difficult. <laughs> um, mostly the, the, the biggest problem, surprisingly, was just where the camera would go. Um, putting a camera right in the middle of that space, we would have been bashing into it all the time, and it was going to change how we were able to choreograph the video for the more standard version, so we didn't do it.